much of a husband. Mm -hmm. Come on, Zach. If I knew that so, if if I knew that Whitney was somebody put a gun to my head and said it's either you or her, me. Sure. In a heartbeat, me. That was the way it was with him. <laughs> Jesus, it's either you or them. Yeah. He said me. In a heartbeat. Amen. Me. Amen. He didn't die begrudgingly. He didn't die uh yeah. Hesitantly, he gave himself freely. Right. Yes, he did. <laughs> but it's not because of that sacrifice. Many men have died. Yeah. Many men have died for good causes. None like him, but many men have died for very good You're causes. Right, many men have died out of love, but it's because he, being that supreme sacrifice, yeah, amen, became our sins and died for them, but not just that rose again on the third day. Yes. Paul said it's the same spirit of resurrection that rose him from the dead that's working in us. So it's because he lives that I can face tomorrow. And it's because he lives this next statement is so profound, so bold. But it's because he lives all fear is gone. Gone. Fear is gone. I have nothing more to fear because he, because I know He holds the future. Oh, yeah. And life is worth the living. 
Life wouldn't be worth the living if I had to get up tomorrow. I can say this from the depths of my heart. Though all my earthly possessions and all my earthly friends and family were here tomorrow, if I didn't wake up with the hope of eternal life and the hope that Jesus Christ will be by my side and yes. the Holy Spirit will be guiding me for the rest of my days, I don't think life would be worth the living. But life is worth the living. Yes. Because He died. Yes. But most importantly, yes. because He lives. Oh, yes. Amen. I'm thankful for the plan of salvation. I'm thankful that He's so good to me and that He loved me this much. But he said, it's either you, Jesus, or it's Zach Harold. And he said, me. Yeah. Me. Amen. Bless you, Zach. Thank you. Amen. Bless you, Zach.